Now we can concentrate on the on the lamb chops. They're not no. lamb chops. <laughs> Pork chops, lamb chops. It's a rack of lamb. Rack of lamb, all the same thing. I've eaten these before. You ever cooked them before? No, sir. <laughs> the other two competitors haven't cooked a rack of lamb before? I'm feeling pretty good. I know what this cut of meat's gonna take to be perfect. Let us know what Joe's doing, then pass it on down <laughs> okay. the line. Hey, Joe, have you ever cooked lamb before? I cook lamb all the time, man. You guys? Uh, no. Can I watch and see what you do? It's six hundred dollars. Oh, six. <laughs> yeah, to stand right behind me. What I like about the challenge of the rack of lamb is it's out of the the normal four meats that you so often see in competition barbecue. You know, the rack of lamb is sometimes called the saddle and... It's like a baby back on a pig. Yeah, it just shakes it up a little bit for these pit masters. Tough year, a lot of people, they got a misconception that rack of lamb is very lean when it's not. There's a lot of fat there. There's a lot of marbling inside of those. If I was given this challenge today with the rack of lamb, I'd French the lamb chop. And what that means is coming in on that fat cap that covers the bones and, and doing a clean cut right there where the loin goes into the rib bone and cut that fat cap off and then come in with your knife and cut all this meat out. So this is a little trick I've learned. The other two competitors don't necessarily know how to French a bone, where that fat cap ends, what exactly parts of the rack of lamb to take off. I've done these before. It's no big deal to me. Yeah, clean up those bones. Don't do this at home, folks. I'm butchering the heck out of this. As I trim this rack of lamb, it may not be that pretty, because I'm really learning as I go. That's a bone. That's going to have to be See, broken. The bone. I mean, I'm finding bones that I don't even know where they're coming from. They have to be broken somehow. No, no, no. That's what you have to cut out to get to the, that was only here. That was here. It's weird working with a meat that you're not familiar with. I am going to end up cutting my finger off. Don't do that. Another risk today, too, is to not under season that meat. So it needs to have a pop of flavor. My go-to when it comes to rack of lamb is things like olive oil and garlic, fresh thyme or fresh rosemary. If your taste is underwhelming, you're probably not gonna win today. That's right.